and let's watch this real quick because I actually know nothing about what's the difference okay. between so Utah and video that I kind of wanted to make Arkansas for a while, but I haven't really had time until now. So of course, the majority of Geography Now subscribers are from you know my home country, and that's why uh, I just checked the stats. Marconia was checking YouTube stats today. Most of our viewers are Americans, YouTube and Twitch. The fucking Americans, the most viewers by far. U.S. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the U.S. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities, and I'm gonna try my best to explain each and every single one of them to you right now. Alabama, we're both white people. I, I would always, when he says something, I want to say what I, as a German European, think. Alabama is. Um, Alabama's the southeast. It is the first thing. Chet, I always, when he says a state, I want you to say in one word what you think. One word. Incest. Incest, right? There's this big meme about incest. Even though, I gotta be, there was this movie back in the day called Sweet Home Alabama with, with, with Reese Witherspoon. And I felt like I kind of like Alabama because, like, everybody's chilling and drinking together. And I don't know, the whole vibe was kind of cool. But yeah, it's not a meme. So yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is incest. Black people are poor, but they party equally hard. Roll time. Oh, sorry. No, but seriously, Alabama is kind of like where the Confederacy started. So, uh, you know, Civil War. Alaska. Um, I was just listening to the uh, first thing. Alaska. Uh, um, mm, you know, it's no. The first thing that comes into my mind is too many men. Males. Why? I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast latest episode yesterday. And the guy uh, is studying in Alaska. He There's this scientist who's studying Alaska and fucking pollution and stuff like that. And did you know for every woman, there's eight men in Alaska? Legit real news from Tommy K here. I listened to it yesterday. Because a lot of people, a lot of males are going to Alaska because they're running away from something. Running away from, you know... They did something bad, so they all go to Alaska. Stuff like that. Alaska is the Finland, but if the US. A lot of domestic, a lot of depression, because uh, it's always dark and shit. Yeah, it was very interesting, man. Uh, America's refrigerator. Seriously, this is like where we stockpile up all our resources I didn't know that's that we won't tap into Alaska. until things get really messed up. It's the largest and coldest state. You can find polar bears and the native Yupik people. Arizona. Phoenix? I don't know anything about Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. I know that. What the fuck is in Arizona? Hot as fuck. Ah, people are saying hot and cowboys. The Grand Canyon State. This is kind of like the King Desert State of the U.S. Fuck that. Arizona is also home to the largest Indian reservation, Navajo Nation. Arkansas. Ba you know what the fuck is wrong for Arkansas? Thanks, last one. It's Arkansas. What the fuck, Arkansas? It's, it's probably because old Indian uh, stuff. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is... For fifth, for twenty five years, I said Arkansas. Oh, hey, are you from a Kansas? What? What the fuck? Because there's there's Kansas and there's Arkansas. Why is Kansas not Kansas? Why is Arkansas Arkansas? You know what I mean? Makes no fucking sense, bro. But yeah, I know nothing else. What what do I know about Arkansas? I know nothing. Nothing. Basically, just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows. It basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of Even any he has state nothing in the country. Under. California. California, piece of shit, Gomorrah. Fucking wildfire. The first thing, yeah, the first thing that comes into my mind with California is piece of shit. I, I don't like that state, man. Ch Chat says Liptots and Liberals. Lots of fucking fires. And a lot of um, celebrities are leaving California, right? Joe Rogan and stuff. They're all leaving it because it's going too crazy. Joe Rogan says, I listen to him a lot, there's a street in LA where thousands of ho homeless people build their own little city and shit. Fucking crazy, man. So yeah, California, fuck California, dude. Uh, something California, I never want to see in my state. life. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the US, it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful That's economic crazy, superpower. Though, so obviously California holds a high position of geopolitical influence That's in our country. Crazy. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the US government. We're the home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the Silicon world are Valley in Silicon Valley. Big, crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado are- Colorado, South Park. Mountains, cold, moose and deer, weed. Ah, it's so interesting what you guys say. Weeds and drugs. The first thing I had was South Park. Denver, Bucks, lots of weed. Colorado River, giraffes? 
our healthiest state, which has the Healthy lowest state. levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, it's fresh air and beautiful. enjoy those mountains. I want to go to Colorado, Just, uh, man. Be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. <laughs> they are really enjoying those new Japan cannabis won? laws. Cool. Connecticut is like... I know nothing about Connecticut. Zero. I don't know a single... Si I know legit from the bottom out nothing. There's nothing in my brain that connects with Connecticut. Nothing. Chet knows nothing too. Tex Haven? Rich people land. Like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. De no, Delaware. Del what the fuck is Delaware? I remember watching movies back in the day about the Civil War and there was, we have to get over the Delaware River. Ah, right. I don't know nothing about Delaware. Joe Biden is from Delaware. Tax evasion. The whitest state. So interesting. The first state to become a state, and that's like literally all they got going for them. I think they have like a <laughs> cardboard box on. factory. Florida. Florida. That's an interesting, Ren. The first thing that comes to mind is retirement. I think a lot of old Americans go to Florida, right? Florida, man. Uh, Florida. A lot of people retire there when they're older. It's like an old state. Lots of Cubans. Lots of Cuban immigration. Uh, alligators. Crazy people. Tommy Versetti. Jeffrey Epstein was there? Okay. Baywatch. 20 million people in that state? Fuck off. I don't believe you. How many people live in Florida? 22 million people live in Florida. That's like most European countries. Dude, that's Serbia times two. Jeez. Wow. Dude. Guzano Island. What is Guzano Island? Guzano Island. What is that? Can I show this? Is this something bad? Skate Island. Huh? What are you talking about? Fucking learn grammar, you idiots. America's swampy playground. Seriously, like none of the houses here have basements because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they built Disney World. They made it bigger. And then like 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia. The I know nothing. That's why I wanted to watch this, because I legit know nothing. Georgia, I'm listening, I'm listening. Shitty Florida. Football, Atlanta. Atlanta's there? Confederates, mountains, TV shows. Yeah, Chet is also very, Chet doesn't really know what to say here, man. The Peach State. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest oh. airport in the US. Boiled peanuts and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some places do that in America. Netflix Hawaii. Likes that. Hawaii. Why the fuck? Why do? Why does America have Hawaii anyway? They don't really shouldn't have that, right? The first thing that uh, Pearl Harbor, yeah, Pearl Harbor is there. Uh, it's like the Mallorca of America. Look, Germans, they all go to Mallorca, which is an island, Mediterranean, and it was because of Peel system. Uh. Must be fucking cool living in Hawaii, though. Uh, I remember the South Park episode. Is that true, Americans? I remember the South Park episode where they, they were making fun of that. A lot of white Americans are going to Hawaii because they're rich and they want to live on in paradise. So you have a lot of these white people in Hawaii who are annoying, pollute everything, and they're acting like they're natives. So I'm Hawaiian. No, you're a fucking white guy that came here because you had a lot of money. That must be a bit sad for Hawaiian people. I always felt like, I don't know, I'm, I have no idea... If you are Hawaiian, like native Hawaiian, it must suck for you that all these white people are coming into your country, man. But it's probably good for the economy. I don't know. All I know is about uh, uh, Hawaii is that Son Goku's Kamehameha was named after a king of Hawaii called Kamehameha. The last yeah. state to become a state. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country. Like, it was a Polynesian country. They had their own monarchy and everything. Liliuokalani was the last queen. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, you know the rest. Hula surfing pineapples. Must be so yada, yada. much tourism Idaho, there, man. The old Idaho. Again, nothing. Nothing in my brain. I want to see Idaho. Potato. Everybody says potatoes. Wow. Potatoes. The only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state. <laughs> I mean, apparently they have some cool secluded. Imagine just being known for potatoes, man. It's like your Irish. Like hot springs and gorges. Otherwise, oh, I nice. feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about. Illinois. Ah. Illinois. Chicago is in Illinois. I know that. And Chicago is like the most fucked up city in all of America, right? There's like one guy getting shot every eight hours or some shit. I, I don't know. Something like that. 
No, Detroit. That's Detroit. Detroit is the fucked up one. So yeah, uh, Chicago. I know nothing. The else. land of Lincoln. Even though Lincoln, Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now mm -hmm. I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this More state, like eight and minutes. a lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like half the time people don't even know what state Chicago is in. And historically, it was known as like the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered, and also That's because a lot of travel, man. And there was kind of like a little bit of a mafia. Chicago's past. also rough. Indiana is. Indiana. I, I don't know even a city. Indiana. I. I Wow, it's, it's, it's so surprising to me that I have nothing. Wasteland, NASCAR, Corn, Indianapolis, Mike Pence, Jones, Mike Pence. I know nothing, dude. It's like Illinois's annoying little brother. Who That's how Americans must feel like when they, when they, they, they look at they European states, not Michael country Jackson. states. Michael no, but seriously, like the only interesting thing from here is like the like 8500 car race. Otherwise, John Green is from here. Iowa. I the fuck is John Green? Iowa. First thing that comes to my mind that Slipknot used to have a record called Iowa. That's all I know. Our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. Yeah, Slipknot. <laughs> it's funny how people say Slipknot. It's just one guy. But yeah, I, I always I already think of Slipknot. French flag, yeah, they have a French flag. Probably they used to be French. They have to be in the southeastern. Uh, HIV shield, corn battleship. Look at Chet. Even Chet doesn't know what to say about Iowa. Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is Kansas. <sighs> when I watch filler movies, the killer they always run to Kansas. I don't know. Corn, Wizard of Oz, ah, Tornadoes, ah, I'm learning so much here. Tornadoes, Wizard of Oz. This is the heart of the Midwest, famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Holy ah, shit. Ah, Kentucky, you- Kentucky Fried Chicken, Great Whiskey, uh, Great Cuisine, I mean, Lisa watched a documentary about the food there, they have great food, man. But yeah, KFC, isn't that crazy that you're known for KFC? Hillbillies, horse racing, but mostly KFC. You with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and, good and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana, huh? Louisiana, first thing that comes to mind is great food. Again, I mean, Lisa, we were watching this, um, doc, this, this thing on Netflix about the Southern states and how you have white people culture and black people culture come together and create great food. Really good food. Napoleon? Why do you say Napoleon? Please explain why people are saying Napoleon. Napoleon was never there. The Louisiana Purchase. French. Lots of swamps. Napoleon sold it to the Americans, which was clever. He could have never have sold it. Ah, Napoleon sold it. Ah, oh, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states left in the U.S. that has concentrated francophone communities that speak French, kind of. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, reptiles and other swamp creatures. Hey, trust me. Oh, God, what the fuck? Trust me, man. There's amazing this, food in Louisiana. This place is unlike anywhere else in the U.S. Maine. The Maine? What the fuck is Maine? I remember watching a movie one day and they they were like joking that Maine is the most boring thing of all times. Forest, mooses, rich people. Maine is in the northeast. Lobsters, Canada. Stephen King. The lobster state. This is like where all state. the tough Atlantic <coughs> sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. Maryland. Maryland is like... Maryland. What the fuck is Maryland, bro? Shithole? <laughs> Baltimore. White as shit. Washington. Ah, that's Washington, D.C. Ah. So corruption, corruption. Uh. Ah, Washington, D.C. is in Maryland. It's like home uh. to the richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab. Crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab. You Dude, I love food. Uh, dude, one day I want to make a big travel along, along the U.S. and just eat all the food, man. It must be so Cook good. Cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts is... Massachusetts. I'm thinking the first thing that sounds weird. The first thing that I think is, is Lyric. I, I used to watch Lyric a shit ton when I was younger. And he was from uh, Massachusetts, I remember. Boston, MIT, Irish people, Boston accent, John Cena. Revolution. Uh -huh. Massachusetts would be a state I would be interested in. I would like to go there, man. Boston sounds cool. Harvard is there? I have no idea. I thought Harvard is like in the middle of some shit. 
like the Library of America. And it has our best university, screening. thank you, man. Indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three Harvard different so types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better than the Almost other two. Michigan. Years. Michigan. Come on. Uh, what's what's in Michigan? Uh, come on. I need to know one thing. Michigan. I have, I legit have nothing. Lakes and Detroit. Ah, it's in the north. Car factories, lakes, and Detroit. I am no so idea. sorry. You were no doing clue. so well in the early 20th century. You are like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in U.S. history. Minis Can you guys uh, explain to a European like me, like, like in one sentence, why did uh, the, the Great Lake area, the, the Rust Belt, why did it get fucked so hard? He says in the 20s, Chicago and Detroit was like really, really good. Why did everything go downhill? Because of Finnish people? No. <laughs> Because no more cars? China. A lot of people are saying China. Why are you saying China? Like they bought everything or what? Taxes, shitty policies. Outsourcing of jobs. de -internationalization. Cheaper foreign exports. Ah, China became cheaper and then they fucked you. Ah. Minnesota. I was actually born. Minnesota. I, I feel so bad that I know nothing. Minnesota, I need to know one thing, one word. Vikings? Sweden? What? Vikings and Sweden, what? Born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus, there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. The land of 10,000 lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just, uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey, K sounds like so far the best, uh, fucking, uh, state. Kids, if I had to choose a state, I would live there. Let's go grab so our far. bigs and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up with that accent. True. Mississippi. The Mississippi, that's also like uh, people that are a bit behind, a bit dumber, uh, Republicans, swamps, maybe a bit racist. What's the CSA? People are saying CSA, CSA. Canadian Standards Association. What? Canadian Space Agency. What? <laughs> what the fuck is CSA? The Confederacy. Ah, a lot of racists and shit. Oh. Confederate States. This oh. is like probably America's truest, deepest southern southern. Y'all put some butter on my grits. State. Speaking of butter, <laughs> yes, they are the fattest state. Just they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri. I feel so bad that I know nothing. It's it's interesting how most American flags have a white, uh, blue, and red, probably because of the heritage with France. <sighs> St. Louis, Rivers, Mississippi River, Battleships. Everybody's saying Battleships. Ozarks. America's gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind <laughs> no, of nothing. acting like a buffer zone. Today they are known for their Kansas City oh. barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Look at that barbecue, Las Vegas man. for old people. And people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china cabinets. What Sorry, Missouri, fuck? just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana. Hannah Montana, yeah, Hannah Montana, like uh, farms and and rednecks and uh, yeah, that's it. Mountains, mountains, bears and forests. Man, America sounds like you have a lot of beautiful nature going on. <laughs> There's always a guy who says battleship. Hannah Montana. America's big, empty, mountainous, may as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne, oh, Nebraska. Of, uh, Nebraska. Nebraska is cold. I know that there used to be a movie called Nebraska, really cold. Uh, Nebraska, um, Nebraska has been selling out their stadium since 1962 for 80,000 people. Far Cry 5? Corn, 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 corn. I just know cold. I remember a movie about corn. it. Corn. It's so funny that most of the stuff I know about America is from movies. And steak. That's oh, literally like their only attraction. Steak, On Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America lives here. Nevada is like... Nevada. Nevada is a... Uh, um, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, a desert, no water is gonna burn to death in the next hundred years. But yeah, Las Vegas, Area 51, like there's, as you, I know so much about this state, but the other ones, no. Yeah, yeah. Las Vegas, Area 51, nukes, yeah. And fucking, they have, man, you gotta Google this, they have no water, man. They're really fucked on water. 
California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we <laughs> bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on, Nevada. New Hampshire is... What the fuck is New Hampshire? Who lives there? Does anyone in chat live in New Hampshire? What is that? Bernie Sanders. Never heard of it. Rich white people. Many times you guys said white people in, in certain states. Rich white people. It's kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and wooden covered bridges. Home to Dartmouth, the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich. New Jersey, New Jersey is um, what I get from pop culture and, and movies is that New Jersey is hated in America. Like New Jersey is full of fucking like white trash and dumb people or something. But I gotta be honest, the first thing in mind is the Sopranos, man. The fucking Sopranos. I want I want a Jersey Shore. I want Italian. A lot of Italians. Joey Diaz. Italian racism. Then the first thing I know is the Sopranos. The office is in New Jersey. The thing is, I want to really, really, really go to... I want to go to New, New Jersey one day because there's a bus. And you can go to the bus and the bus drives you to all the locations of the Sopranos, man. I want to do that one day. 100%. Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. New York wow. slums. That to support nice. you as always, Tommy. Glad to Thank you, Epic Gona, man. As always, Tommy. Can't catch as many streams. Gabagool. Of university, but what the fuck was Gabagool? I forgot. Shit, I should know that. Rich and very angry. And they have like, like a they... Jersey accent. Everybody will give a Jersey accent. What's a Jersey accent? They don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New <laughs> Mexico is like. New Mexico, uh, Breaking Bad, uh, Albuquerque, Breaking Bad, Mexican border, very hot, orange sky, UFOs. But yeah, I like Mexico, you know, close to Mexican border. Uh, yeah, Breaking Bad, Santa Fe, illegal immigrants. A lot of UFOs, okay? Like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened, and now he came <laughs> out with like six pack abs and a sleek new look. And uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens uh, landed. New York is. New York. Uh, it's very important for Europeans to so understand New York is a fucking state and not just a city. Obviously, the first thing you think is uh, New York, New York City, right? And what I hear though, I've never been in New York City. There's two kind of people. People that love New York. Oh, I've been in New York. It was so sick. And a lot of people that think New York is a shithole. It smells like piss and trash. Rats. Like very, very... Yeah. But you could kind of say New York is the capital of the world in a weird way, right? That's where the aliens always land. Yeah. Rap music. Basically Berlin. Kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. Most Caucasian uh, Americans that see have ties to immigrants from the 1800s Beautiful can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island where most Europeans oh, wow. came in. Cool. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the... F North Carolina. I know nothing. I just know when there's elections, they always say she's got to win North Carolina. Like North Carolina is always like an important state, like a swing state. But I know nothing. Incest, barbecue, and storms. Michael Jordan, Robert E. Lee, Blackbeard died here. Black sails, swing state. Lots of beaches. First in-flight state in which That's the Wright brothers York, right? flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch nemesis Pepsi was born here. North Dakota. What the fuck is North Dakota, bro? I have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oil. Everybody says oil. Cold and oil. Congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access, Pipeline, Controversy, Drama thing. What? In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio. Why? Why is there Norwegians there? What the fuck is going on? Eh? I don't know what's happening. Uh, Ohio. I have no idea. I have no clue. Ohio is a shithole. Jake Paul. Oreo, Battleground State, Cleveland, Roman Atwood. It's it all like Ohio. the most LeBron plain James. Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and carnivals. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma is mean Lisa's safe word. Every time we say Oklahoma, we mean something's very serious. Oklahoma. Yeah, safe word. 
That used to be the safe word of the Jackass group. And in the Jackass group, something went too far. They said Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. Tornadoes, reservations, banjo. 50% of region migrated to the US during the famine in the late 1700s. Ah, ah. Westbrook. Joe Exotic. <laughs> Peyton Manning. Stealing land. The jo jo Joe Exotic. <laughs> America's tornado state. Now, pretty oh, much shit, all man. of the Midwest gets tornadoes. However, Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon. Well, I know nothing about your country, Americans. I have no idea where Oregon is or what happens there. The Oregon Ducks. The Oregon Ducks. Portland. Forest. Hipsters. Gold. The Oregon Trail. What is that? Gravity Falls. I don't know what I'm reading. Salem. Shenry lives there. School shootings. It started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with burly men with axes and chainsaws. But then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore. So they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon <laughs> is like this weird lumberjack, vegan, hipster, hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania. Oh. Pennsylvania. Uh, CIA. Is it, aren't they? No, they're in Virginia. Fuck, no. Pennsylvania? No, CIA is in the office is there. Philadelphia. Hockey. Amish people. Germans. Mini Europe. Mini Europe? Mini Europe. Yeah, America's history state. We should have had our capital over here, and technically at one point our Congress did actually meet in Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island. What the fuck is Rhode Island? I've never heard that in my life. Rhode Island. Small. Small island. Tiny small island. Family guy plays there. Island, our smallest state. And it's not even an island. It's not even a peninsula. What the heck, Rhode Island? Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies. And other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional island. city of Quahog in the show Family Guy. But that's about it. South Carolina. What? That's the weirdest fucking flag ever. It's like ISIS took over Hawaii or some shit, man. But it's also kind of beautiful flag. What was that? I forgot the name. Dixieland, Myrtle Beach, Pittsburgh, another battleship, Confederate. What the fuck is Dixieland? Uh, these people love their tobacco, fudge, walnuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota. South Dakota. Mount Rushmore, apparently. Ah. Uh. I, I read some weeks ago that someone is, someone is debating if they should destroy Round Mushmore because they were slave owners or something. Did you know that behind? I, I read that. I read that. When you look on Mount Rushmore, behind the heads, there's a door in a wall. In, in that door, they're, they're hiding. Help me, Americans. Behind Mount Rushmore, there's a door, a hidden door. And in that door, the government is hiding something like nothing like aliens like something i don't know documents or some shit anyone knows what i'm talking about that's a movie wait i'm i'm it's fake oh i'm an idiot sounds fake no 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 there was something there the golden city no i swear to god there's a fucking thing there and they have like documents there or some shit i don't know okay i guess stop okay okay mount rushmore the other Dakota, home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic. Uh, uh, Lincoln, Je Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and this guy. Nicholas Cage discovered that. <laughs> what is that? Lincoln, uh, Washington, Jefferson, and Teddy Roosevelt. Ah. Iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the Crazy Horse Monument. Oh, they're still working on that? Wow. Oh, cool. Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt once gave a speech with a bullet in his uh, chest. Thank you, uh, Reed Jack. Thank you, man. Teddy was a beast. Otherwise, hey, Tommy just got COVID test, but I doubt it's COVID, but it's likely a chest infection. All the best. Like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is... Whiskey. I like all the flags. The flags are cool, man. Uh, uh, Tennessee whiskey. Uh, J Jim Beam and, and stuff. Nashville. Everybody says whiskey. Nashville and whiskey. Kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians. Mountain folk. Bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Texas. Proud, hot, guns, Republican. But yeah, mostly guns. Oil. Lots of oil. 
Hot as fuck. And lots of guns. Second Amendment. I'm got my lord, man. I'm gonna shoot ya. Football? Uh, cowboys. Huh. Look at the Brazilian states. I don't think people give that much of a fuck. Texas was at one point even its own country, and in Texas, everything is bigger. It's football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food group. I mean, it would be nice to once in your life see Texas and their culture and how they live. Cattle ranches are everywhere. Must be the most American country, shit ever. Contrary to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture, as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah, basically. Utah. Uh... Mormons. Everybody says Mormons. Everybody kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state church, population man, is registered Jesus. with them. Otherwise they have great skiing, the Sundance Festival comes here all the time and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New- Vermont. I give up, man. I know nothing. I know nothing about your country, Americans. Vermont is like in the northeast or something. I know that. Bernie Sanders is from there. White people with guns. New Hampshire's smaller twin ben brother and Jerry's. that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise, the only other thing that they got ben going Jerry's. for them is Ben I used to be addicted like, to Ben Jerry's. Seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia is... Virginia is CIA. I know CIA. That's it. I, that's all I know. Virginia has the CIA. What is Chet saying? DC? What? FBI. FBI is also there. Robert E. Lee. You guys always say Robert E. Lee to every state. Okay, Virginia had something with the Confederacy. But yeah, CIA. It's kind that's of what like where everything started with the U.S. Essentially, the British came in, they tried to start a little small town, and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened, and then Disney <laughs> made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So, Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. Washington. Washington is not the city in the east, it's actually state in the northwest. And the first thing coming to my mind is a YouTuber I used to watch many, many years ago called Dr. Technical Difficult. Ten years ago, he was a big YouTuber who did chat, chat roulette videos. That's what I have in my brain. Nirvana, Ted Bundy, Seattle, Seahawks, Antifa, uh -huh. Nirvana. The Evergreen Asians? State. Basically, imagine the exact same X. scenario with Oregon, except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam! Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Well, oh, I never and a knew volcano that. erupted in the 80s, and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia. Country roads. Take me home. Is like the southernmost like to state the place. that was actually part of the Union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. Old the average state. age is about 40. And Ouch. we get a lot of coal from here. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Cheese? Yes, cheese in Wisconsin. America's dairy land. Oh. Now, my personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally <laughs> do. My friend Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. They're also so like cool. home to the country's most attractive chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming. Home to Wyoming. I have no clue. That 70s show. No one lives here. Stop. Yellowstone National Park. Uh, to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. So that's the state where one day your whole country will fucking die Yellowstone. when Yellowstone Beautiful place, erupts. waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot springs. They have tons of buffalo, and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little bonus. Washington, D.C., our cap. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here, sometimes. Congress assembles, mostly. All the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. Wow, the statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being... The Washington Monument is a tribute to Bill Clinton, did you know that? Being watched. Security cameras are everywhere. So have fun! Just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. All right, now very quickly okay. before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before, I'm trying to work to save up for my heritage trip that me and my mom are taking. And as you guys know, one way I'm doing that is by doing more of these sponsored the videos. Map. And I'm very happy to announce that a great company called Skillshare has decided no, no, to sponsor no, Eric, Geography no, Now. Just no. What Thank is for the free Skillshare? Dude. Skillshare is an amazing- Yeah, help him out, help him out. Dude, help him. And let's give him a like, man. Let's give him. We have one last, you guys voted for Japan. You guys know I'm a big Japan fan. This is one I'm a full fucking weep. I think that's the final video today. 
I actually enjoy this, man. Dude, this has views. This is fun, man. I'm so happy I can do this as a streamer. Watch this with you guys and work together. Let's check out Japan, dude. Man, I, I just realized I know nothing about America. But Americans... Americans in chat, name five states of Germany, you know? You know? What the fuck? Is there like a German states one? He probably doesn't have that. Oh, that would be so interesting. A German states one? He probably doesn't have that. Uh, geography now German states Bavaria <laughs> Austria Wait wait it exists Wow Oh we gotta watch that I'm sorry we gotta watch that we gotta watch that Oh we gotta watch hey, that so Oh we gotta watch that That's my that's my people bro it's my people Oh that's interesting Cool I I will gonna educate you guys about Germany Let's go and after this we watch Japan Oh that's cool Oh first Japan I don't know First Japan and then the German States. Because German States is fun. I want to do that, man. Yeah, look how fast chat is. People give a shit. I think Japan first. So this is like the big final of the stream today. Let's do Japan first. 